So it's the Hennessy Gold Cup this weekend. One of my favourite races. I have always enjoyed doing the Hennessy Gold Cup, just up the road from me in Newbury. But I have other memories of this as well. And that is because a few years ago, uh, Betfair actually let me trade live at financial market exhibitions. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So I have fond memories of this time of year uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is the Hennessy Gold Cup meeting. That's always been an interesting meeting for me, but I've always enjoyed it. Uh, some of the other races are a bit up here and there. I tend to do generally above average here, but it's the Hennessy Gold Cup is the one that is of most interest to me. And I've traditionally done pretty well there. It's just about the right type of race uh, if I really want to go for it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this year will prove the same again. But the second reason is because of what I did with Betfair many years ago. Back in 2006 and 2007, Betfair actually went around financial market exhibitions and uh, pitched the Betfair concept to people. And, uh, and, and it worked beautifully well. To understand how that happened, you have to understand where I was, you know, when in my early part of my Betfair trading career. And that was, I actually did a weekly column for Shares Magazine. And part of the reason for doing that was when I first started trading on Betfair, I had no idea back then if it would work or not. You know, I had an idea of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it, but I didn't know if it was going to work. So this was a bit of a, excuse the pun, I was hedging my bets a bit by writing a weekly column and getting paid for it. But um, that led to me going out and doing some of the talks that uh, Shares Magazine used to do now and again. They would go out and do an event where they'd invite loads of people in and people like me would stand up and talk and uh, everybody would give us a round of applause, but there were exhibits and so on, you get the picture. And I went up to them and said to them, why don't I talk about trading on betting exchanges? Because it's new, it's interesting, and it will fall right into the mix of this. And they said, well, off you go then. Uh, go and do that, and we'll see what the reaction's like. But the reaction was absolutely brilliant. Um, and because I'd come from writing all about financial markets and I was now trading on sports, I could join the two together. And, you know, I would generally say to people, you know, this is... This, a stock market for sports was the way that I would describe it. And people just got it straight away, especially when you're talking to existing traders. They tend to understand exactly what's going on and they'll ask all sorts of questions about volatility, risk, um, time to expiry and all of those things. So I could actually dovetail it really nicely into that. And that all started to um, fit together quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I, I ran around the country doing that for a little period of time. And the interesting thing was I would actually demonstrate using other people's software because BetAngel did not exist at that time. BetAngel only came out of my frustration at not being able to do the things that I wanted to do. And it's funny actually because you realise there are many inflection points in life and things that you can and can't do to push yourself in the right direction. But one of the things that I've learned is if you really want to do something, um, then you make sacrifices to achieve that. So there have been many times in my life where I said, yep, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that, or I'm going to forego this money to pursue this, or whatever. And it's, it would have been interesting to see what would have happened if some of the people that were around, some of the vendors that were around very early on, who no longer exist, by the way, would have actually taken on board what I was saying and actually tried to actively recruit me. Whereas what actually happened was they just sort of said, yeah, thanks for that suggestion, goodbye. And, and therefore I had to create Bet Angel. So interesting, you know, diversion there in terms of uh, your, as your aspect on things that you should do and what reward you should expect to get for it. Don't ever feel afraid to sacrifice something in order to get to a different level. That was my mantra, worked perfectly well on that occasion. And I would have happily uh, done a number of things if only that I'd had a responsive partner on the other side and that never happened. Anyway, I digress. Basically the point was back then um, I was using other people's software and demonstrating and just the concept of it. So, you know, uh, it's funny to look back and see that. But what actually happened from there was when I was talking to Betfair in and around that time, uh, one year they had a bit of marketing budgets to spend and they decided that we would actually go uh, to a, a fully fledged uh, investor show stroke trader show and if I remember correctly I think we did active investor 2006 IX investor world money show 
Active Investor, Invest06, there's a number. I can probably find the logos and scatter them around the screen um, and put some pictures up to show you. But uh, it was funny to uh, go to these shows because, of course, everybody was expecting um, stock or equity derivative trading services and stuff like that. And there in the middle of this stand was Betfair. And, and it, you know, it just didn't look right. And generally, um, that's the response that you would get. I remember on the first show that we did, people would come up and going, what are you doing here? You know, you're just gambling. We don't want you. And um, I was saying, well, no, actually, it, it's not gambling. And they're going, yes, it is. You know, if you back a horse, it's like, yeah, but... but let, I, uh, it's, and these people, some people were quite rude, to be honest. And, um, and it, oh, yeah, it was like, oh, you know, why, why don't you stop and listen for a few seconds and just let me explain what I'm talking about. But, you know, some people just weren't, able, weren't ready to get the concept at that particular point in time. But um, so we, we did a couple of exhibitions with varying um, success. And then one came up around this time of the year and it would have been involved on a Saturday. And of course, the Hennessy Gold Cup was on. And I was thinking, well, I don't really want to do that. I want to be trading the Hennessy Gold Cup. And um, we figured out, in fact, that if we talked about the concept during one of the speaker slots, then basically the stand would fill up. You know, before speaker slot, uh, it was tumbleweed. After the speaker slot, loads of people would come to the stand and talk about it. It was very interesting. But when we had this opportunity to do a pitch on a Saturday um, and, you know, at a decent exhibition and so on, my thoughts were a bit like, well, I'd love to do that, but, I, you know, I'm never feasibly ever going to get enough money back um, from, you know, software subscriptions or anything um, by, you know, attending this. And, you know, the economic payoff, I was like in turmoil because I was thinking, I really want to trade the Hennessy Gold Cup. But obviously, you know, it'd be a great opportunity to talk to loads of people and to have a stand and support Betfair and all of these sort of things. So we came up with a plan and that plan was to actively trade because the problem was people would come past the stand, wouldn't get the concept. If you did a speaker slot, people would get the concept and come to the stand. But in fact, doing a speaker slot and then trading live turned out to be the most potent mix. Because if you're sat there actually doing it, people can say, I recognize that. That looks very familiar to me. But hold on, that, you know, that's not the dollar or, or uh, oil or an equity. And it can't be because it's a Saturday. So what market are you trading? And you just went, well, you know, it's the quarter past three at Newbury. And um, of course, it was like, boom, suddenly people are sort of going, oh, wow, you know, what's this? How does this work? And so on and so forth. So it actually worked really well. And um, I'll never forget that Saturday when we, we had those big races on because um, you know I actually managed to get the best of both worlds I managed to talk about the concept um, go through various um, things with people in terms of how it was similar to financial markets but in fact it was a sports market and I actually got to trade it as well and make some money on the day so um, I couldn't you know it's difficult to do a full-blooded session because sometimes you'd break away and then suddenly you get swamped and you know people needed breaks and stuff like that but the satisfaction of pulling off a really good trade in front of all these people in that environment was just one of the best feelings that I ever had. And also, you know, we felt like we were doing a really good job of um, trying to educate and tell people exactly how all of this worked and how the whole thing could be moved forward. Because I envisaged that Betfair would be just like any other financial market and that, in fact, we would be heading in that direction and not, uh, you know, back towards bookmakers and sports books and stuff like that. It was just like such a leap forward and one that could be embraced by a whole number of people. So, you know, those times were invigorating and exciting, but they only really lasted for a couple of years. And I think, I may stand corrected on this, but I can't remember doing a similar thing since for anybody, um, any of the major um, exchanges. And I think that's a shame because, you know, um, the markets, uh, really are, as I've explained many times before, I'm not going to bore you with it again, really are a great way of participating uh, on sports. And I think that message came across so loud and clear when we actually did a, a talk about it, they invited people back to the stands and actually traded live. But um, yeah, a little while ago now, uh, in fact a decade ago since I first did the very first presentation at one of those exhibitions. But when it comes around to this time of year, I always remember it because it was great fun. And also with the Hennessy Gold Cup, 
um, it's very difficult to trade that race without remembering doing it live in front of a whole range of people. So yeah, that's my memory of uh, late November trading. Hennessy Gold Cup and when Betfair did financial market exhibitions. Uh, happy times.